NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 25. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Kansas City. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here's the first drive for the Ravens, and at the helm is the 2023 NFL Most Valuable Player. Second such time he's won the award, Lamar Jackson. And he's coming off a season where he showed everyone that he was worth every single penny he was given. He now has two MVP trophies on his resume and was on the verge of adding a Lamar Hunt trophy to go with it. Unfortunately, things didn't work out in his favor, but make no mistake about it. He's truly one of the most electrifying players in the NFL. As long as he's the man under center, they'll always be in championship conversation. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Now it's Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now one yard to go on third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that they only get two there but on third and one that's all they needed to keep the drive alive they didn't get it by much but bottom line got the first down avoiding that three and out how vital is that on the first drive to me it's like the first round of a boxing match you know it may not mean much right then and there but you'd rather not lose it right so you want to go ahead and get it kind of establish something early and hope it can carry through so he stopped for no gain at its second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's Jackson to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. 
Well, the Chiefs offense going to make their way out and at the helm. A now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Patrick Mahomes. I think it's safe to say that at this point in his career, there's really nothing Mahomes hasn't accomplished by this time. Three Super Bowl rings, three Super Bowl MVPs, two league MVPs, a couple of all-pro nods, and a passing title. When you lay it all out, it doesn't even sound real, especially when you consider the fact he's not even 30 years old. Now he has a sight set on being the first quarterback to three-peat. If there's anyone who can do it, it's certainly him. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. They go play fake. Mahomes trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So, Charles, our first points of the game provided defensively. What a play that was. And I can only imagine that the folks at home watching are thinking to themselves, that's one of those plays where once the ball leaves the quarterback's hands, you just sort of go, uh-oh, and wait for the result. This time, the defense benefited. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Now Mahomes to try again after the pick six. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He's got the connection to Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now here's Mahomes. And this goes to the former Raven, Marquise Brown. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Now it's Mahomes again. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 29-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Hollywood with the first down grab. And that's something they like to see in the offense. But what they really want to see is explosion. 
Ever since he's entered the league, he's been a long ball receiver. And the Chiefs hope that trend continues as they try to win their third straight Lombardi Trophy come February. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes says, go long, Hollywood. I'll find you. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. To throw, it's Mahomes. Well, this one complete, it's Rasheed Rice. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. and He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. So first and goal and a chance to make amends for the earlier pick six. And again, it's Mahomes. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Now Mahomes. Finding more on the out route for the completion. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Pacheco will take this one in. It's a Chiefs touchdown. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play, and they actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Baltimore is set to take over here for their second possession of the game. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. His throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A very solid gain of 27. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down.
So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. These two teams all tied after one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up. Now it's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Jackson from the shotgun. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They go play action with Jackson, and he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw is Jackson. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 14. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. Over the middle complete. That's Flowers. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Henry going to be stopped before he can get moving forward as he'll lose a couple back to the five-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Back at the five-yard line now, second and goal. They'll bring a tight end in motion. They go option right on second and goal. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Josh Johnson keeping it himself from five yards out. And the Ravens have taken the lead. 
And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> it takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Well, now how about this return? And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, still a good return. They'll start the drive right around the 37. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? An injury stoppage here, and that's Marquise Brown, who appears to be shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Now second and nine. Mahomes going to throw over the middle. That's caught by Rice. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Now a third and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, he has. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. On fourth down, Matt Ariza sent on to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. That hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent, just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. So first and 10 after a big mistake on fourth down with a penalty. Here's Mahomes to throw. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. So the completion good for six yards, and it's second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second down and four. Throwing now is Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's taken down inside the 30. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. 
It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together, when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why, what we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Short completion, just four yards, and that'll make it second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Mahomes to throw once more. And that falls to the ground incomplete. Well, a nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Mahomes now to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Uh, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free and his guy made a nice catch just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game butker now to add the extra point now we've got a good one brewing we're all knotted up at 14. a pretty long drive that time 11 plays all told and it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. 
And he's got a first down following a pickup of about 13 as we will take a pause here for the two-minute warning. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. They'll look to throw here on first down. A quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. In motion right is Aguilar. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They'll look to throw again. He's got his target. That's complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Again, he'll drop the throw. And this is incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it. Don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Back to throw again. This will go to Henry out wide. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So it's third and goal now, and this is where the Arrowhead crowd can make it very tough. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Tucker now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half with this slim deficit closing in on the end of the first half. We'll see if they can move this at least into field goal range and try to get three out of this drive.
Now here's Mahomes. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Finds his man. It's Kelsey on the crossing route here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. It'll be the Chiefs football to begin quarter number three, and they trail here as we are back underway now on EA Sports. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong. I'm trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And the return will stop right around the 25. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Johnson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And he gets it inside the ten to the nine. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Off the option, here's Henry. Oh, and he will force his way into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Derrick Henry. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. Sometimes you get a first and goal, and you're back near the seven, eight, nine-yard line, and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need, so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. 
So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Tucker now to add the point after. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And it's been a struggle for him all afternoon. This defense has really done a nice job of making him earn everything he gets. And it's prevented him from getting into any kind of rhythm here today. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. From the 44-yard line, here's second down and one. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. Man open left side is Brown. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Well, he's had the interception woes in this one, Charles. At that time, a little bold to throw it into double coverage, but he beat the double coverage. Yeah, but I admire that he still will challenge defenders downfield, even though... The ball's been in jeopardy a few times in this game. A nice ball there against multiple defenders, and they advance it downfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now second and five. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And his throw is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Mahomes again. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Well, every now and then I can speak from experience because I do know, as a defender, it is awfully hard to stay with your man on these crossing routes because even if you don't get picked, there's a danger of being picked either by one of their receivers or maybe by your own defender. And on that play, that worked quite well. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Brown. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 
That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs have got it back to within a score. So he had the nice run to get him down there, was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they're within seven now at 28-21. So that drive goes eight plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and ten. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They go play action here on first down. And the Chiefs are going to get him. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Off the play fake, Johnson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, this can happen when you get man coverage on a tight end. This is a nice route. He's just going to run a corner to the left side and find some open space. That's asking a lot to make a linebacker run with him. And this ball's on the money as they pick up a first down. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. Looking to throw. Johnson, he finds Bateman over the middle. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. A quick pass out to Aguilar. The result, only four yards there on the play. And now we've got a third and three.
Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. From the gun on third down, Johnson. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 53. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. And running with power here. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. It was starting to become a game for him to forget with the interceptions, but that's a step in the right direction. Not only did he choose to run it instead, but he saw the field well and made a nice pickup to get a new set of downs. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Got a man, it's Brown. Will go down as a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. Pacheco gets it and tries the left side. And give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Throwing now is Mahomes. Brown with a stick skills. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 35. And they get 10 yards there and convert on third. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Here's Mahomes to throw. The ball finds its way back to Brown. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. 
But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Mahomes now to throw. He finds more in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Chiefs have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And the lead is down to a field goal now. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was Sky Moore capping things off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They begin with Henry, and he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. And for the defense, this is a spot where you don't want to totally sell out to stop the run, but you do have a pretty good idea of what you're going to see. And that's good work right there to keep them in check on that first down carry. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Again, it's Henry. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. And this is the worry because sometimes you can get a little too predictable in spots like this. You know you're going to run the ball, but they know you're going to run the ball as well. And now you look up and you're staring at an important third down. The offense on third down, they've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This will be third and six. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. From the gun on third down, Jackson. They're looking deep here for Flowers. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. The Ravens send their punter out now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Fielded at about the 28. Oh, good move. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The Chiefs offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Now Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. 
That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't it? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They've got to go thank the guys on D. The tight end in motion right. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be brought down at the 37. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Kyle Van Noy. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he's going to be met at about the 43. They will look for some important yardage on third down. From here, it would be a 60-yard boot. Back to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. And the Ravens taking the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. In motion, Aguilar. Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Play action. Now Jackson. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. Down the left sideline. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. 55 yards. And the Ravens use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Now Tucker to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 
Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. That sure looked like a nice call by the defense, and they're very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Now here's Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ball game now, and he's got a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. With no hesitations, they go right back to Kelsey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? And look at this, back-to-back -back completions to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes, short throw, hauled in by Kelsey. And Kelsey's going to have a Chiefs first down as he'll be taken down at the 46. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. They'll look to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. Now second and four. Mahomes. And this is caught. It's Brown. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. The two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and 10. Mahomes will throw. And it's caught. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now first and goal. Mahomes, he'll buy some time, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, 
A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have cut it back within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. you got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high-percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts. But even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back, they might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now they need two. Here's third down. Jackson to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. They'll try and run the option. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. The Ravens go for it but come up empty. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up. But also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, They'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. This is first and ten. Here's Mahomes. Finding Kelsey. They find some open field here. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete.
Another try, second and ten now. Mahomes. And he, oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week at practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Down to a knee goes Jackson, and that should seal it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And, of course, this is a win they're going to hang their hat on. They go on the road and defeat the defending Super Bowl champs. Partner, they came, they saw, <laughs> they conquered. They conquered. But before all that happened with the conquering part, they believed. They thought it all week. It was evident when we talked to them before the ball game that they thought they could get this done, and they knew exactly how, had a plan, formulated it, and then executed it. That's a big-time win to take down the defending Super Bowl champs. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Kansas City, so long, everybody.